Where is this cat at? Cause not tonight. <laughs> Hi y'all. Ray. How are you? Whew. Who has listened to Victoria Monet's new album? I feel like it's growing on me every day. Okay? <laughs> Let me tell you something. She's magical. How are you guys feeling? Happy Monday. Whew, we're going to take it easy and we're going to flow into some words tonight. We're going to flow into them affirmations. We're going to flow into the... <laughs> we just going to keep flowing, okay? The full moon is right on the corner. The full moon is right on the corner and we got to be mindful with our energy intake like it's around the time where people are likely to like not get as much sleep as they would like restless feeling trust me it's the room it's the moon feel like you can't go to bed at night it's the moon feeling drowsy and tired all of a sudden it's the moon so yeah just tread lightly and um take your time in your daily endeavors please we're gonna have the full moon in Pisces, and I was actually supposed to do some research on that before I got on here, but I didn't. So we're gonna go off the top of my head. And what I do know, Pisces is a water sign, and we're um, in Virgo season at, at the moment. Virgos are Earth sign; they're sister signs, right? Um, they both both signs teach each other. Virgo and Pisces learn from one one another. So if you have a Virgo placement, you got Pisces in your life; they're teaching you. Even if it looks ugly, they're teaching you. So, um, and just the same thing with other signs, you know. I usually put this cat away before I start. And like he wants to play right now. So give me a second, y'all. All right, baby, come. Back to what I was talking about. Okay, so Pisces, uh, it's like go with the flow type um, energy. Basically, daydreaming, the imaginative sign, the daydreamer of the, the zodiac. So anything that makes you daydream, anything that you, your manifestations, your visualizations, all of that is like Pisces theme. Um, it's like learning how to balance that with the Virgo characteristics, which is like, practicality work actually putting things in order and taking the steps to do what you gotta do because you can't keep dreaming you can't be too all in your head pisces you know you can't be if, if you start visualizing some shit and not apply any action it's just gonna stay a dream you know so learn how to balance having this um goal this dream of yours with the audacity to go out there and get that shit. <laughs> Nobody's gonna give that to you. Nobody's gonna give that to you. I'm over here laughing because somebody in my messages <laughs> is tight. <laughs> it's, it's a it's a joke, but I'm over here. If y'all see me looking up, I'm looking up at a notification. I'm laughing right now because I'm that weak. We got somebody in my messages losing their mind. Okay. And I'm screen recording this shit. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? It's Monday. And for those who don't know, I'm on this unemployment train where I'm just, <laughs> I recently quit my job, my, my nine to five, because I was just sick of it, sick of the cat mouse games, just sick of it, sick of the corporate America hierarchy, the way they be treating people like shit, paying us nothing, I'm sick of it. So I said, I'm gonna do something about this shit. I gotta, I'm not gonna spend my good good up years stressing, like, for what? So, I, if I'm gonna stress, I'm gonna go out there and fucking figure it out on my own. I might as well stress about my own shit. I might as well stress about my own business than to be going to somebody's job and be stressing. 
it shouldn't be like that. I should be going to a job, getting my fucking paycheck and leaving. But for some reason, they want to do the power play. They want to do the different color shirt play. That ranking shit. That's so weird. Ego, egotistical. But yeah, y'all, that's my story. That's been my journey, right? So I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to just talk. If you know, you know. That's, that's what I'm going to say. Basically, I was trying to figure out if I want to move to Orlando, start my my whole life over, basically. Like, I mean, like, leave everything, leave all this furniture here, like, just leave everything, leave my clothes, like, most of my clothes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need, need clothes. So I'm going to bring my clothes, but that's been my job. I've been, like, and today I finally made the decision to to my landlord that I'm leaving. So guess what? My ass is really going to Orlando. Cause I don't know if y'all know, I was I was like pushing, pulling with it. I was like, maybe I'll be here until like probably December. Cause I know I don't want to spend, I don't want to spend winter in New York. I, I cannot stand winter in New York City, yo. It's the worst. Summertime, favorite. I love New York. But winter time, no. So yeah. Looks like I'm leaving, and I plan on leaving in October, like mid-October, and I'm excited. DeMarco, you're from Atlanta? See, that's not too far from Florida. Speaking of that, like, y'all, I'm coming up with some events still. Like, I'm not letting this shit stop me. I'm going to go to, I'm going to Orlando specifically, right? And I'm going to go find me a, a, a community of women that wants to... I, I got the men down pack. I'll get y'all after that. But I want to work on one group at a time. And I want to just get us together and do some healing circle shit, you know. Every time I post stuff about my events and it's in New York City and people outside of New York City can't go, they'd be like, oh my God, I wish, they, I, wish I had it. And I'm like, okay, I'm trying to make this shit happen. So first step is Orlando, Florida. So if you're from Orlando, Florida, tap in with me, please. If you're into like spiritual wellness, holistic healing, if you're into um, becoming a boss babe, if you're into establishing um, self-confidence and self-expression, hit me up if you're from Orlando or if you're from Florida, period. But yeah, um, that's really my journey right now. I'm gonna move there and you're gonna see I'm gonna vlog this whole experience because why not? Might as well. But yeah, yeah. That has been like, ugh. Because I'm not I'm so, I'm so used to living on my own and having my own shit that I might have to be a little uncomfortable. But I know, I have a plan. I know what I'm doing. I just know I gotta. Sacrifice some shit for this plan. And I'm willing to do that because I've been trying the other way for way too long and nothing has come from that. Nothing has come from me playing small. Like, nothing has come from me acting like I don't know who I know, like, who I am. Like, nothing came from me being in fear and having anxiety about every fucking thing. Nothing came out of that shit. And if anything came out, it was temporary. I experienced all I need to experience. I'm gonna do this shit the easy way. And the way I'm gonna do that is basically trusting my fucking intuition. My intuition told me I gotta stop working. I'm just done. Fuck. I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna figure this shit out. And I, I'm just sharing that just if you are experiencing anything in your life that, and it don't gotta be specifically my story, like anything that requires you to be on some. Like, don't mind my cat, guys. Don't mind my cat. He's, he'll be fine. He just has an attitude right now. But, yeah, if you're experiencing anything that has you, like, questioning whether it's your intuition versus your fear, just, just take a second. Take a second. Don't make a choice yet. Just take a second. Because your intuition, you're going to eventually know what's intuition. You're going to eventually know. Just go with the flow. Most times, I chop it up to the fact that we're not ready to know. If if, the, if it's not clear to you, you're just not meant to know what this thing. You're meant to just journey the uncertainty. Some of us are so afraid of, 
afraid of the unknown, want to have, you just want to know the answers to everything. Need to know how this shit gonna end. I get it. I'm nosy as fuck about my own life too. Nosy as fuck. I do not mind nobody else's business but my own. I mind my business. I be minding my business. <laughs> But yeah, I've been minding mine, and it's important to like be so. I would say be obsessed with your fucking self. What? This, this is your life. Too many people are are so obsessed with other people, and it's getting creepy. It's getting scary. Cause how you have one life to live, and you're wasting that on somebody else. Yeah. So. I don't even know how I got there. <laughs> but I wrote a list, y'all. Today, we're going to talk about the current energy. Yeah, the current energy, honestly, I feel like my own, in my personal life, I'm just going with the flow right now because I'm starting to fit, realize that this shit is not even my fucking life at this point. Because when I say the divine has been intervening in my shit, I be having to just sit back. I, I be having to do this. Surrender. I fucking surrender. Oh, fucking yeah. I had to surrender. I had to let go because the more I try to manipulate energy and try to control the outcome, the more I try to like get in my own way, I was just limiting myself. And if it didn't come in the form of me step, not stepping out of faith, it was the form of me, like, that ass, like, self-sabotaging. Like, not honoring my own word type shit. Like, if you don't honor your own word, you can't expect nobody to honor your word. I'm sorry. If you don't keep your own promise with yourself, if you been talking about you want to stop eating this certain thing and you still eating it, you can't expect nobody to be honoring your shit. You don't honor your own word. Anybody else is, is going to reflect that. And I think sometimes we forget. We get so mad at the person, not realizing no, that person is just showing us what we got going on inside right now. What, what we really got going on. The fuck on. <laughs> So, like, this, we got to be more mindful in our interactions with um, people and observe things from a higher perspective. Bird's eye view. Anytime I have, like, any kind of situation with, like, anybody, I allow myself to feel, like, I allow myself to feel my feelings, right? But then I like to, like, really process my shit. So I'm not the type, I used to be, I used to go off of emotion. That shit will get you fucked up, seriously. <laughs> Especially nowadays, in this time period, it's like people could snap like, like this. Like, it's like, it don't take much for people to lose their fucking shit. So you gotta have self control over your, your, be able to manage your emotions, be able to have self control, be able to be able to feel stuff, and not even fucking sweat. There'll be times I was sitting in front of somebody and I'm burning up inside. They don't, they will they will never know. That I'm talking about that level of self control. So yeah, yeah. I would say the current energy is given just be. I feel like everybody, know, like for the most part, I'm not even gonna say everybody. I hate generalizing. Most people, some people, fuck it. I hate English. But most people know what this world is about. You know, that we, we know the end, like we, know, we don't know everything, but we know enough to know that we ain't gonna fucking make it out this motherfucker. So why not follow our heart? Why not go towards where 
passion is taking us, where our intuition is taking us, why not at least see what that's like? And some of that looks like really just facing fears and having courage and saying, fuck it. Being sick of your own shit. Be so sick of your own shit that you gotta reinvent yourself. All of a sudden, you don't even look the same. And that's a thing, y'all. I didn't realize it until it happened to me. I transformed, like literally transformed to the point where I became unrecognizable to my own self. That is deep. That is, that is motherfucking deep. Mm. That is fucking deep. <laughs> unrecognizable to my own fucking self, okay? And that's because I did a lot of shadow work. If y'all know shadow work, if y'all know shadow work, it's no joke. It's just facing yourself. It's literally just facing your, 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 your demons, your dark, your dark side. Sides of you that you're probably not even proud of. <laughs> Being able to um, face it and not judge it, even if you want to so bad so badly you want to judge yourself for like damn like your current version your current version could not phantom how dare you like how dare you how why did i even do that it's the same thing as fucking with somebody and then you don't fuck with them no more and then you look back and you're like damn what the fuck was i thinking like same shit same time but having the ability to not judge yourself for a time period that probably just didn't know any better. You was a different version of yourself. So it's like, you just gotta, you gotta hope, you gotta have that, that compassion. And I feel like when I think about compassion and love, I, I used to, I used to only like look at it as it just had to be intimacy and that's real love like no there is a different form of love and i've experienced it while being single for two years i didn't need a motherfucker to touch me like hell yeah it was lonely ass fucking nights yeah fucking sucked there were times when cold ass fuck outside and i'm in the bed just like hated it but that that wasn't that to me i'll eat that without needing to go look for something real quick to like soothe the void where i'm just like all right how about i get creative how about i get used to this to the point where when i meet my person they won't it won't come it won't be from a like a, a need like i need them it will be like a you're a bonus you just add something to my life and when you leave, if you leave, it doesn't take anything away because I had this before you came. Like that type of energy, you know? So if you're if you're ending up like feeling this way, like as far as like just knowing your worth, knowing your value, not being affirmative and vocal about the things that you're gonna accept you're willing to accept and things you're not. Being so unapologetic about that shit and so unmoved, no matter how many people try to persuade you otherwise. It's so important, y'all, especially the times that we're heading into, to just own who the fuck you are, own yourself, own your personalities, own, like I wrote in my journal entry, I think earlier, I was like, I'm owning everything. I, I own my imperfections, I, I own my flaws, I own my quirks, fuck it. Like, it's really not that deep, like. So yeah, yeah, I'm moving to Orlando. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. 
I moved to Orlando for like one month and I cried and I had to go back home. But I was a different person at that time. So I'm not gonna lie. When I went down to visit the other day, I cried again. And I think I cried because I was like, really? I'm like, that was one of my options. Like either stay, either move to Orlando or try to make it out here in New York. But New York, I, I'm just, it's too rough for me right now. I need to sit down somewhere in zen mode and really be on some zen mode shit like really just rest because i'm fucking tired i've been working my ass off i just need a minute bro so yeah i'm gonna try to stay there for like six months i really just want to be a digital nomad i really just want to travel that's all i want to do and make a living off of that shit why not so yeah i'm but I'm just, I decided, because I have no choice, because I really don't want to be paying rent right now. I need time to myself <laughs> to be a sane human being without the, the stress. <laughs> so, I figured I'm going to just make this a, a creative journey and just be on some eat, love, pray shit. How about it? I'm about to be on some eat, love, pray shit. <laughs> I love that movie, by the way. I watched it like a couple of months ago. Oh. But yeah, that's heavy. It's giving that right now. Last week, I was given Samantha on the Sex of the City. It, without the sex. I was out here just hot mess, okay? This week, it's giving Eat Love Pray. Shouts to gross. I love this fucking album, y'all. She did her fucking thing. Yo. Y'all hear my cat? Oh my god, my cat is in the back. He's he he acts crazy when I'm be on. I don't think he likes me on live. I think that's what it is. Yo, this moving process is gonna be fucking crazy. I'm not excited about the moving. I don't like I don't like moving. I don't like it. Hi Phil, how are you? I am doing well. How are you? I am not too excited about this moving shit, yo. I just cannot wait till I can just sit down and I have all my items in one place and I'm just... So I'm gonna be probably taking y'all with me on that journey. <laughs> oh my God. Y'all, I'm really moving to Orlando. I wonder what is it out there? Like, honestly, last time I went, it's just, just nothing. But then again, I don't do much. I just be out. I do my little pop up, pop out. I pop out every now and then. A little drink. Even the other night, I went out with my, my um home homeboy and his home girl. I went out with them, had a little drink. Came back home, cool. I do not need to go out this weekend. Like I have boundaries with that. Like I'm not a every weekend we're gonna hang out type girl. I can't. Unless you want to come over my house and do nothing with me. Because <laughs> I could do nothing. Like, Hi, Phil. Um, everything is going well. I was just talking about the fact that I'm moving to Orlando, Florida. And I want to build community. I want to build community out there. Because um, I, I was building a beautiful community here in New York City. But I plan on going back and forth. I plan on going back and forth. And the type of community I'm talking about, I'm talking about um, in communion, like healing healing each other, empowering each other. Um, even practitioners, I'm a spiritual coach. So we're going to network and stuff like that. Or I'm hosting events to help people tap into their confidence and self-expression. So I'm helping women feel like, them, like their feminine selves. Like I, one thing I didn't know 
was like a lot of women they come to me and they tell me how they struggle with their sexuality and i'm over here in the mirror wind up my body and i'm thinking it's normal because like you know and as someone who has struggled with body dysmorphia because i haven't always had was in love with my body i have struggled with it you know with just the look right and i grew to love myself love it for what it is but i'm just saying like i didn't know that i don't i don't know the feeling so it's something that's natural for me why not help other people tap into that side of them if it's something that i could give right and it's something i love so i'm excited about it and i want to just like build that community for um wherever i go so i'm gonna be i'm gonna be in florida looking around <laughs> absolutely yeah i'm i'm excited i'm excited just to like literally i need a break and i feel like taking the winter off <laughs> at least will be very necessary for me so i'm gonna go into like this hermit mode type shit probably come out a different person okay i'm talking about meditation for 90 days and 90 nights yeah yeah my name is shandy love shandy love you can follow me on ig shandy love and I am on YouTube. I am Shandy Love. And I be talking my shit. I think tonight I'm really mellow. I'm really, you know. I had me a cute conversation earlier with my homeboy. He my homeboy, but I like him. <laughs> I like him. Um, I'm just still trying to get to know him. I'm not even going to act like, you know. Because I used to be, oh my God, I like, I like you. Let's be together. No, that shit will get you in trouble. I learned my lesson. I am not getting played out here anymore. <laughs> Yo, when you have a good heart, it's so easy for you to get manipulated. Because you, you you really can't see how people are very fucking disgusting. People are, no, people are scary, y'all. They're ruthless. <laughs> There's people out here that will take advantage of you, okay? <laughs> Just because you got a good heart. And because you're easy to be taken advantage of. Be safe. Continue to spread a good message to many world. Of course, Phil. Of course. I will continue. I will not. Guess what? My homegirl yesterday, I went to like um my beautiful friend's her relaunch party. And um, my homegirl, she gave me mics. So it's about to be lit. I just don't know if I could record. I think I could record on here. All right. I'm trying to think, guys. I'm, I'm trying to think out loud. Because I be screen recording my own lives because I'm really training myself to become a public speaker. This is it. I'm not just up here talking. I'm up here facing my fucking fears because I don't know nobody up here. And I'm over here sharing a good word, but I'm also working on my vocalization. Nah, I don't need to retwist. Mm -mm. I don't think I need to. And I don't want to. I like my hair the way it looks. But thank you. But yeah, y'all. Like, it's, it's... It's real. It's getting real in these streets. So you gotta be careful, okay? So, for more in Pisces. I talked about wanting to build community in Orlando, Florida. Um. Yeah, take it easy, y'all. These these next two days, just flow, flow with the vibes. Don't be too irrational. Work on controlling it, cause Pisces is a water sign that is um you know, it's, it's, it's when you think of water, you think about sensitivity, you think about feelings. So full moon itself heavy on feelings so like just be very mindful of how you um of your interactions and pay attention make sure you um process your feelings before without reacting like you don't gotta react to life i, I think i wrote that on my twitter the other day if y'all on twitter y'all can follow me i am shandy love on twitter as well i be talking about shit i was i wrote i was like just just stop reacting to life like when things happen, of course, feel the shit. Like get get upset, right? But to the point where it 
you dig a deeper hole for yourself because of you're reacting to something that was out of your control. Now we gotta think about that. Like, but nobody can, nobody, nobody can't say you can't kick down a garbage can because you pissed off. I guess or fucking kick something or a scream. Like maybe you need to release that. It's literally the delivery of all things. I'm starting to realize that it's about the delivery. Like I was me, my homegirl, right? She, she and I was supposed to be doing this movement. The whole business thing I got going on out here in New York, right? We were supposed to like this. We was planning to do mirror magic. If you look at my page, you'll see what I'm talking about. We was planning on getting all the girls together to dance in front of the mirrors and lowering themselves. Why not? This was supposed to be a joint project. And we we had our first event recently. And after that, she said that she wanted me to do it by myself. And I'm not going to lie. I felt a little slighted. I was like, <laughs> like I was so confused. I was, I didn't, I wasn't expecting that. This is something that we planned for months. I was not expecting that. So, um, but I did not react. I, I chilled. At the end of the day, you're going to tell me what's going on. And then we're going to talk about it. And then let it go. I left it alone. I didn't talk about it. I went on my way. I chilled. And she came around and she told me. She, I like that shit because it was on some grown woman shit. We ain't scream at each other. We ain't had no attitude. There was no malice. It's love. Love is love. And we both were saying, yo, love. We, we love each other. And we still want to collaborate down the line. If anything, she helped me because now I can make this shit all about me. Fuck it. I could really do that shit now. Now I could really. Because before I wasn't even trying to do that. But now, this is my shit. And I'm going to stand on that. And that's just the energy that we got we to gotta really, really get into. If you really want to live the life that you want to live. If you have a vision board and you want to you look at that vision board sometimes and you just can't wait till that comes to fruition, that confidence got to be up there. That sense of self-worth got to be up there. That faith got to be up there. That self-awareness has to be up there. <laughs> you got to be self-aware. You got to be sure of who you are. You got to know who you are. If you really, really want this shit. And I'm talking about when I say want this shit, I mean like want anything. Whatever you want. Some of us don't even know what, what we want. And I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a be like guilty. <laughs> There was a point when I, I had to question myself, like, what do you want? And I'm happy I did that. Because if I didn't do that, God forbid, I probably would be following somebody else's dream. Somebody else's picture of success. For what? There's so much ways that we could succeed in our own unique way. We don't, there's no fucking rules to, like, what we got to do. We could do whatever the fuck we want, really. Delivery. Again, delivery. What are your intentions? How are you going about this shit? But yeah, y'all. Facts keep shining in your light and purpose and value. I'm listen, I have no choice, Phil. Cause for years I've been dimming. When I say dimming, when I say, and if you ask me why, I I really can't pin it was many things in one. There was it was a lot of low self-esteem issues, low sense of self. I used to want to want others to validate my existence, like validate me. You know how much power you're giving away if you're looking for external validation? You know how much power you're giving away if it takes what that person think about you to shift your energy, to shift how you feel about yourself? Ooh. And I've been doing that for years. 
and the amount of shit I experienced because I was doing that, man, that was the ghetto. I don't want to be ghetto no more. Mm -mm. <laughs> that was the ghetto. I will, that, I'm good. Like, I learned all, like, listen, I know I still have more to learn. Like, I'm not going to sit here and act like I know. I don't know everything. And I think that's what people, people feel like I, I talk so confident. Mind you, I don't, I haven't always spoken so confident. There's levels to this shit. I haven't always been here. I remember when my teacher couldn't get me to raise my hand. She put me in front of the middle of the middle of the classroom to read a paragraph, and I just started bursting out into tears because I did not like the idea of being seen. I did not want people to see me. I just wanted to hide. And up to now, I can't tell you where that come from. I can't tell you. It must be some past life shit because I do not know. Yeah, we're cooling. We're definitely cooling, y'all. Um, I'm probably going to end this early tonight because I feel a bit tired. And I'll probably come on. I'm definitely going to come on tomorrow. Probably a little bit earlier. I'm going to see. I'll probably come on when I go visit my my baby boy. Um, my my homegirl had her child a couple of months ago, and I feel like he's older. So I could go finally go and see it. You know when the babies are fresh and new, you just don't you wanna be very fragile, right? They're very fresh. So I gotta I had to like wait it out. Same here same here, yep. As well. I don't know everything as well, yeah. And it's okay. I like the idea of not knowing everything, honestly. To be honest, I don't need to know everything. And this is coming from somebody that had crazy trust issues. Like Trust issues, but also control issues. It was wild. Thank you, Phil. Hope everything goes well for you, too. Have a great, great night. All right, guys. Remember, please say your affirmations tonight. Whatever comes to mind. Whatever you're asking for in this life, just know it's yours. Visualize yourself as your higher self. As your higher self. As your higher self. Visualize yourself. And, um... Keep embodying that. That's what I'm doing. Keep about keep embodying that sense of self worth. If you can't find it, there's so many tools out here. Check in with me. Follow me on Instagram. I um Shandy Love and follow me on YouTube. I am Shandy Love. All right, y'all. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night.